Thanks for joining me. This lab session is entitled JMeter GUI IDE Features Lab. Using the JMeter GUI IDE is not difficult, but it can be a challenge at first. Let us take a closer look at the IDE features. First, the pull-down menu bar is a standard menu. The file menu contains typical options like file opening, saving, and exiting. It is not hard to figure out the additional options. Number two, the remaining pull-down menu bar provides options that are not hard to grasp. If they are not obvious, the help menu should point you to what you need to know. I do not find most of these options utilized much. Thirdly, however, the icon bar is more useful in my opinion. Let's start from the left of the icon bar and we'll go all the way to the right, taking a quick look at each of the functions or features for these icons. The first one, of course, is how we create a new file or one of the ways we can create a new file. We could go to the pull down menu and select new or we can just select new here. And what happens is when we do that, we get test plan since it is what happens anytime we do new or as I mentioned to you, if we do restart, we get the same result. Moving along, then the next icon has to do with templates. How to open the template option. You get the pop-up window and you can go from there. Cancel. Then there is the icon bar for opening a file. So if we are interested in opening an existing file, we could look in a particular folder like the scripts folder under JMeter, scripts, and we see a number of scripts that we could open. Let's open the perf test one. We're familiar with that one. Click the open button. And now we have that script open in our IDE. If we wanted to save this script after making a change, let's say we change this value to four. Now we have some kind of change. We can come up to the change or the save icon, click it, and that item is saved. If we wanted to delete an item such as response time over time graph or listener, we can use the cut icon to do that. And now it's gone. If we wanted to copy an element, transaction Google, copy and Click over here and paste. And there it is. Transaction Google. And let's delete it. The plus and minus icons are there for expanding the output so that we can see all of the sub elements and contracting it or collapsing it down to just the test plan and then we can expand it again. When you need to toggle something that's selected from enabled to disabled, this is where this particular icon comes into play. If you click it the first time and it is that item is enabled, then it disables it. If you click it a second time and it's disabled, then it enables. Good little tool there. 
And the next two buttons have to do with starting a test, either starting a test with the timers enabled or starting a test with all timers disabled automatically. The next two have to do with stopping gradually or stopping immediately. And those are, are actually visible when a test is in progress. The next two have to do with clearing all output in the logs as well as the reporting files. Clearing one that's selected or clearing all whether it's selected or not. This icon has to do with step-by-step -step debugging. When you click on it, you get a pop-up window and it's still pointing to that particular selected element. And you can start, step over, continue, do what you normally would do with a debugging tool. After that, this icon has to do with searching to search for any kind of information in the script at the script level and reset the search and then there's a help button which allows you to do searches choose functions for help information and then there is a more advanced help which goes into the online to the browser takes you to the Apache JMeter site and finally there is the plugins manager button takes you directly to the pl plugins shows you what's installed what's available and are there any upgrades waiting to be applied. My time has ended for this session. I thank you for yours. Join me in the next video.